searching for evidence and searching for people, we cover the whole gamut. People go missing, uh, evidence needs to be located, uh, search managers respond anytime, anywhere, whether they're working and on duty or even if they're off duty at home. Essentially, we're on call all the time. Search managers are responsible for taking over a search when it's gone beyond the capabilities or the capacity of the frontline members. The first thing that we would do is liaise with the investigators, get some information built on who it is that we're looking for and where they were last seen. The next thing that we would do is get in contact with our civilian uh, searchers. So uh, We have a search here for a 14-year-old girl. We would brief them on the information we have up to that point, including some of the history as to how this person possibly went missing, age, description, uh, what they're wearing and where they were last seen. The concern for us is that she is diabetic, so we're going to... After that briefing, those uh, civilian searchers would break off into teams and search the segments looking for any evidence or the person that we're trying to find. We're searching for you know, obviously anything you know, that the individual was wearing, anything they had with them, but we're also looking for you know, what would somebody that age, that personality, that gender, what would they do? Where would they be going? Being armed with that information, they'd be better equipped to uh, alter their techniques or alter their approach as to who they were looking for and how they were looking for them. When we go in, we keep an open mind. We don't draw any conclusions prematurely until we, uh, we get a lot of the information in and let that guide where we're going to go, how we're going to search. We need the ability to detach the emotion from what we're trying to do because we need to be objective, we need to be professional. Everything focuses and narrows. I guess it's almost like tunnel vision. We're very focused on what we're looking for, you know, our subject. We're looking for some clues. We're looking for any sign that that person has been there. It's the drive to find this person. The EPS and the unpaid professionals of search and rescue, we work extremely well together. It's very important to have those partners in a search. They are familiar with our handling techniques and our rules for evidence. Go ahead for command posts. I've located a piece of clothing that appears to be in the subjects. We train with them. We have a very good working relationship with them. There's mutual respect. There's very good communication. It's trust, it's community working together. And that's what makes working together so important and so efficient. Success for uh, search managers leaving basically no stone unturned. When we find that person, you can't explain how good it feels. We're looking for you. I'm from search and rescue. Go ahead for command post. Yeah, command from Hotel One. Be advised, we've located uh, Sarah. She is in good spirits. Certainly a big aspect is getting them out of that environment, getting them into safety first and foremost, and uh, we get them to help. We are the search managers, and this is who we are.